welcome to Las Vegas Motor Speedway qualifying underway for the Fort Worth Screen Printing Cup Series. See Ethan Evers in the 26, Fort Worth Screen Printing KVRP Toyota heading out. Drivers get two laps to set their fastest lap time. Drivers just heading out. They get five total minutes to try and set those two laps. Ethan Evers was the first one out, so we'll keep an eye on the 26 here. Get some hydration in because Mer told me to. <laughs> See who else is on their timed lap now. You got Jeremy Shear, Paul Gallimore, and Bikey all out on their first timed lap. Should see Evers cross the stripe here, go to the top. He'll be the first car done. And Orndorf goes to the top of the boards. Peter Therio jumps up there. Therio on the bean team. The team we just talked to before qualifying there. Jeremy Scher currently second. Bet MGM 15 machine. Lilith Peters jumps up to third. Lucas Hoisman jumps up to the top on his first lap. Brandon Bikey lap two goes top of the charts. 30.34 for Bikey. We'll see if Hoisman is able to pick it up on lap two as much as Bikey did. Little Peters jumps up to the top of the charts. 30.293. Hoisman does not get that big pick up on the second lap. He'll be sixth. Quinn Newton settles in in fourth. Mike Edwards in the 14 on his second lap. And Montrose jumps up to fourth. Mike Edwards jumps in sixth. See who's still out on track. Mullins. He's throwing away his second lap sitting on pit road there. Mike Chris is on his first time lap. First lap for Mike Chris at 30.80. Good enough for 14th. Chris coming to the line. Lap number two. See where he stacks up. Moves up to 13, so a little faster, but not quite the speed I kind of thought we would see out of Mike Chris. His teammate Giglio in his first lap was 11th quick. See where Blake stacks up on his second. Thirty point two eight eight top of the charts for Blake Giglio. That's getting it done right there. Front row right now, Giglio and Peters. Wallen sits on pit road but not going out. I don't think anyone else will have time to get their laps in. Seventeen put an official time down. Cliff Mullis the slowest of those. Twenty five cars total here tonight. Final 10 seconds of qualifying tick off here as we watch Giglio sail it off into one. Trying to get a nice drift in. <laughs> and that is it for qualifying. Giglio and Peters, your front row. We'll let the field jump out on track and then we can run through our starting lineup presented by Labor 12. 
Let's see what we got going on here. There we go. We got new cameras tonight. Let's see if we can get a word with our pole sitter, Blake Iglio. Blake, DG, you got a copy? Hey, how's it going? Well, sir, we picked up the pole here for tonight. Waited until uh, late in the session to get it done. Made it dramatic. It was exciting. How did it feel behind the wheel? Yeah, it felt good. Um, I think that I didn't think that lap was gonna be good. I messed up three and four a little bit, but definitely take the pole. Um, lately, it's been hit or miss when I get the pole. Either do get really well or we wreck. So hopefully, we do well tonight, and hopefully, I'll be talking to you in a little bit. Three and four. Good luck to you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Blake Iglio, your pole setter for tonight. Let's go ahead and kick off the uh, starting lineup presented by Labor 12. We got Blake Giglio on the front row in the 16 alongside the 01 of Lilith Peters. Brandon Bikey starts in third in the 27 alongside Swicegood in the 24. Row three, we got Ian Montrose in the one, Quinn Newton in the 88. Row number four, Mike Edwards in the 14. Justin Horton in the eighth, or in eighth in the 39. There we go. Peter Theriot. In the 30, we'll start in the ninth position alongside Lucas Hoisma. Surprising qualifying effort there for Hoisma back in 10th, but I'm sure we'll be dealing with him before the race is over. Jeremy Scherer, the Bet MGM Chevy, starts in 11th. CJ Orndorff, the Elite Performance Industries 18 machine, starts in 12th. Mike Chris in the Low Drag Esports Labor 12 Ford starts in 13th. Paul Gallimore, for the Team Watson Racing Setup Chevrolet starts in 14th. Cody Cleaver in the Mohawk Branding Chevy starts 15th. Ethan Evers Cave RP Toyota starts in 16th. Cliff Mullins Race 22 Chevy starts 17th. Mick Hammer in the National Fallen Firefighter Foundation Chevy starts 18th. Dave Placement's Labor 12 Ford 19th. Daniel Wallen's Labor 12 Chevy in 20th. Mark Dingman, the Teamwork Chevy starts in 21st. J.R. Deal, Johnny Outlaw Demon Hunter Machine starts in 22nd. Jake Lawrence, the Magic School Bus starts 23rd. Kelly Hyatt, the Craftsman Ford starts 24th. Scott Elston, the Traxxas Toyota starts 25th. 25 cars here tonight. Nice feel for Vegas. Cars have been retooled by iRacing just yesterday for a little bit different tire wear model. And a little bit different gearing, so a lot of drivers are trying to learn this stuff all at once as we go racing here. Blake Iglio, Lilith Peters, lead us to the green flag and down into turn number one. Appreciate the follow there. Scruffy looking. Peters hanging tough on the outside. Iglio's trying to use the low line to get the advantage. Peters going to get the run off the top of the corner there. Oh, they make contact down the <laughs> Wow. Contact on lap one between the leaders. Sends Peters all the way up to the wall. That's going to allow Bikey to get through for second. That was strange. That's why it's good. Trying to get inside the zero one. Swice good. Right one to the back number of the 27 of Brandon Bikey. Behind them, you see Quinn Newton in Montrose battle. Here comes Lucas Weissman up from 10th already in 7th. A little bit of a door contact there between Weissman and the one of Montrose, but they keep it going straight. Now Weissman up to 6th, trying to get by his teammate for 5th. Weissman wasting no time trying to rebound from that qualifying effort. Like Yulio enjoying a nice little breakout up front. Peter Theriot's hidden by Montrose. You see Cher into the picture. Mike Chris as well. Justin Horton, Cody Cleaver. Voicemail's all the way up at the wall in front of these guys. Lilith Peters battling the 88 of Quinn Newton. Newton on the high side. Gets a shot from Lucas Hoisman. Could not handle it. Lucas trying to help his teammate and push him along, but that was a little too much, and the 88 almost wrecked. 
fortunately everyone able to keep it going. We're single file all the way back to, it looks like, 20th. That was Dave Hoisman back there in 20th. Yeah, it was. Just like that, the top 20 got single file. So Giglio leads. Swice got up to second. Mikey now third, and now teammates side by side, Hoitzma and Newton. Newton right up against that wall. Christian Boss, thank you for the raid, appreciate that. So we see Newton fighting back on the high side, gets alongside Bikey. Highline might actually have some decent fight back power. Saw the 88 get loose there, Quinn Newton. Right in front of his teammate, Lucas Hoitzma. So once again, Hoitzma gives him a push down the backstretch. Quinn Newton drops down in front of Mikey. Now low drag esports, one, two, three, and four is the first caution waves. Trying to find what that was for. Camera's on pit road. Oh, Justin Horton goes around. Nick Hammer gets a piece of it, and on the pit road, Hammer goes. That started with Justin Horton there in the 39. It's racing behind Cliff Mullins in the 17 of Gallimore. CJ Orndorff comes in there, tags the rear of the 39. Nick Hammer trying to avoid it all, gets up and into the outside wall after contact with the 18. So it looked like CJ Orndorff thought there was going to be a hole there when there was not. It's right on board with the 18. And... Here. There's a 39 down the back stretch, drops down front. There was a gap there, but the 39 was planning to use that room and I guess did not know the 18 had gotten in there. Eighteen now on pit road. So Blake Iglio leads, Swice Good, Quinn Newton, Lucas Hoitzma for a low drag esports one, two, three, four at the moment. You have Brandon Bikey in the fifth position. Peter Therio is sixth. Jeremy Scherer in seventh. Ian Montrose eighth. Mike Chris ninth. And Cody Cleaver, your top ten currently. Looks like Horton. Took time to repair some damage. 23 second stop for the 39 team. Everyone else that came down was fuel or fast repair and fuel. Starting with the Lilith Peters 01 machine. Now back in 16th, Cliff Mullins took the fuel. J.R. Deal, Ethan Evers, C.J. Orndorff, of course, had to check the damage there. Cars back down pit road. Looks like Mark Dingman. 82 is coming down. Probably a fuel top off here as well. Yep. Fill up the tank on the 82 and he heads back out. He'll be 25th. All cars still in the lead lap so far. Lights out on the iRacing pace car. We'll check out the fast repairs real quick. Orndorff did have to take one, so the 18 burned his there. Horton and Lawrence did not, so just Orndorff. I promise you there's 25 cars out there, but it shows 22 in the ticker. That's strange. There it goes, now it's short.
Alright, let's get this thing restarted. Pace car should duck one off right about now. Galio, quickly back on the accelerator. Leaves his three teammates. Swicegood gets clear to second. Quinn Newton, Lucas Weissma. Side by side, Newton drives it in deep and actually gets all the way up to the quarter panel of the 24. But that's going to slow him down on corner exit. Swicegood's clear once again. Hoitzma trying to follow him. Newton just keeping the nose of that Camaro from keeping Lucas to come down. Lucas goes ahead and gives up the third spot. Newton takes it happily. Oh, he's been sucked in for a little bit. Now he's trying to get by Quinn again. These teammates always race each other hard. They want to fight each other for the win. They don't want to wreck each other, but they always fight hard when it's one another. Even if it's early in the race, it's very entertaining. Puts on a good show. Behind them, you see Montrose, Brandon Bikey, Peter Theriot, Mike Chris. Swayceman packs it in down on the white line on Newton. It's going to clear him off the corner. So Blake Iglio leads. Swayceman hot on his tail. And you have this very entertaining third place battle between the teammates of Hoitzma and Newton. Now up front, Swicegood looking for the lead. It's Giglio up the track, Swicegood down low, wrapping the bottom through one and two. Now Swicegood trying the top side. Swice could definitely want to try to get a taste of this lead. This series does give a bonus point for leading a lap. So far, Giglio's led them all. Now Lucas Hoisman, the 97s, joined the fight. That should be good news for Swice Good. Hoitzman goes around the outside of Giglio. Giglio had a bobble there in the three and four. He had to get out of the throttle. That's going to drop him to fourth. So he now has Ian Montrose to defend. Swice good picks up his point for leading the lap. Montrose clears Giglio. Montrose up to fourth. Giglio with the crossover. This is about where drivers say the tires start to fall off. If you're trying to run qualifying laps every lap, you'll start to feel the fall off right around here, 16, 17, 18. Behind this battle, you see Bikey, Peter Theriot, Cody Cleaver, Mike Chris, and Gallimore, your top 10. You have Cher, Hyatt, Edwards, and Dave Hoitzman. Cliff Mullins, 15th. Lilith Peters, 16th. J.R. Deal, Ethan Evers, 17th and 18th. Jake Lawrence, 19th. Daniel Wallen, 20th. C.J. Orndorf, 21st. Scott Elston, 22nd. Justin Horton, 23rd. Mark Dingman, 24th. Nick Hammer, not sure what happened to Nick to be so far behind. 13 seconds back of the field. Second caution flies. Seems Paul Gallimore, 17 cars, had an issue. He's racing alongside Mike Christopher in the 70. They make contact coming off the corner. Gallimore just doesn't give Chris room. Get up and into the outside wall. Round goes to 17, Gallimore. See 39 of Justin Horton brushing the wall there. Trying to make a 
evasive maneuvers, but the 17 just came off the corner wide, pinched the 70 up into the wall, probably damaged both cars. <laughs> Staff. Rowdy, thanks for giving the shout out there for the V. Field forms up behind the pace car. We've seen 20 laps now. I think we'll see a sizable number of cars come down pit road and at least take fuel. Here they come. Weiske, Hoitzpa, Newton, Manchos, Giglio, Bikey, Thirio, Cleaver all hit pit road. Kelly Hyatt in a 33 car has stayed out. Seems about the only one. I think Ethan Evers may be doing so as well. There's Ethan in the 26, so Hyatt not pit all race long. Evers hit it on lap 12 to take the uh, fuel top off during that caution. Everyone else hits pit road. A lot of fuel stops. Hoisma fuel only. Swice, Giglio, Bikey fuel only. Wanchos, Newton, Cher, Edwards, Peters, all for fuel. JR Deal for fuel. Cleaver's the first one that took tires in 13th. So we'll see if the tires matter. Cleaver taking a set here. 30 of Therio's also taking a set. Jake Lawrence fuel only. Mike Chris seems he's taken a set along with the faster pair, I would guess. We'll see. Let's check in with our ticker, see what it tells us. Yes, Mike Chris did have to take the faster pair, so faster pair and a set of tires for the 70. Scott Elston, Justin Horton, fuel only. Dave Hoitzma seems he took a set of tires along with Mullins, Orndorf. 25 cars still in the lead lap here. Mark Dingman's back down pit road. And he's topping off the tank once again. Four second stop and down and away. He'll catch up to the field before they go green. Kelly Hyatt, Ethan Evers. Both not stopping here. Hyatt has not been down pit road at all this race. 22 laps and counting. Ethan Evers, 13 laps since he's been down pit road. So I think he came down on lap 9. This could get interesting as Cody Cleaver in 14th is where the fresh tires will be coming from. Hyatt gets us restarted in the 33. Up through the gears has Lucas Weissman right on their tail. Ethan Evers third as Weissman wasting no time going after the race lead there. Weissman gets by Hyatt. Oh, that is the 88 Quinn Newton smacking the outside wall hard coming off of turn number two. These cars are built pretty sturdy. That was quite the smack he gave it off turn two. It doesn't seem to be affecting it too bad, though. Wait, my Hyatt. Then you have Swice Good. 27 of Bikey. 16 of Giglio. 26 Evers, the one of Manchos.
<laughs> Appreciate it, Christian. That shot down the back stretch. That's awesome. Top seven single file. We have the battle between Newton and Evers. Peter Thario. The two of Cleaver. I believe that's the nine of JRD. We're going to go three wide. <laughs> Cleaver on those fresh tires. Gets up and into the outside wall coming off the corner. Maybe a little bit of a too much of a full send as the one Lilith Peters goes around. So far we're still green. A little surprising. Cars all checked up, slowed down. Lilith Peters going around. Let's see what happened. Mike Chris looked like maybe he just misjudged coming up the track a bit right into the 0-1. Take a look far chase here. See the zero one just up ahead. Mike Chris is to the inside. Comes up, just barely makes contact, but it doesn't take much to send these cars into the inside. Still green. Up ahead, Mike Edwards gets past the 33 of Kelly Hyatt. Behind that, Montrose some bikey battle. Bikey on the Cool Runnings team. One of Montrose, part of Blockbuster Racing. Got the two of Cleaver, also a Blockbuster car right there. Cleaver does still have that fresh rubber. Seems to be helping to move up through the traffic a bit. It's been 29 laps into this race. The 33 is still not coming to pit road. That's why you see the 33 dropping back. Not the only car to not have tires yet, but... Cody Cleaver, meanwhile, has only nine laps on his set of tires. 21 laps fresher, and it shows. He'll drive that two car wherever he wants to, even after smacking it off the wall. He's quickly catching the 27 of Bikey. Mike Christopher also on fresh tires, as is the 30 in front of him, so those three cars on screen. To the 30 and the 8, 70. I almost said 88 because it looks like a Dale Jr. car. <laughs> Do you have halfway point tonight at the end of lap 58? We're halfway to the halfway. Looks like CJ Orndorff has retired the car for tonight. Just brought a raid over for us. Appreciate that, CJ. Sorry, your night was kind of crap. Hoitzma, Giglio, side by side for the lead now. So we watch the cars with the tires trying to catch up. Two teammates now fight for the lead. Those three cars with the tires are stuck behind the top five as they were side by side for, for the fourth spot. Couldn't find a way to round. Hoitzma has the lead. Giglio second. Tario now up into the fifth spot.
It's called by iRacing, so if iRacing doesn't call it, that's on iRacing. <laughs> Dario now up into the fourth position, gets by Edwards. Being stalked by the 70 of Mike Christopher. Also has the fresh rubber. Now Christopher has ideas of making it three wide as they go into three. Clearly it didn't. <laughs> it didn't call it. Because it's automatic. Battle for the lead once again. As the fresh tires go side by side, the 30 and 70 battle. Hoist up top, Giglio down low. There you go to the outside of Brennan Bikey. Take over the third spot from the high line. Oh, teammates make contact there. Giglio and Hoitsma come together there. Giglio gets out of the throttle, loses several spots. Altario gets into the back bumper of Hoitsma. Hoitsma with the fantastic save. He's still saving it. <laughs> Lucas Hoitsma did a wonderful job to hang on to that 97 car. He got tagged in the left rear by Tario as he came through for the lead. Altario leads Mike Chris. Mikey still third after Hoyts was falling back with Giglio. Giglio is still struggling at 16. You see him dancing up the hill. It's been 38 laps since the start of this race, and this 33 car has still not been to pit road. We're keeping an eye to see when it has to come down for fuel, possibly. Meanwhile, Mike Christopher going for the race lead. Inside of Dario. Now the car Dario knocked out of the way is a teammate to the 70 car. Probably going to have to be on their P's and Q's. Oh, Ian Montrose smacking the wall on the backstretch there. One car eating the wall. His right front is destroyed on that number one machine. He stay green as he keeps it going in the right direction, but that car is going to have to take a fast repair. Limps the one to pit road. Three car breakaway now up front. Impressive that Brandon Bikey is able to hang on to this group. Bikey does not have the fresh tires, but he's hanging right there. Dario, Mike, Chris, Brandon Bikey. One, two, and three. Then it's one second back to Lucas Hoisman, Blake Giglio, Cliff Mullins, Mike Edwards. Mullins took a set of tires in that last caution. Swice good. Cody Cleaver, Ethan Evers thought about making it three wide, decided not to do so, probably wise. Top three, pulling away from Lucas Hoisman and Blake Giglio. Continue to watch this battle for the fourth position. Two winningest drivers in Sidewinder history, Blake Giglio and Lucas Hoisman. Edwards is the third winningest. <laughs> it's him being right there with him. That's amusing. One, two, and three. And Sidewinder wins, running fourth, fifth, and sixth right now. And Mullins trying to bounce back on the outside. 
Lucas is fast, but he's mired back here right now. With Giglio, and they are losing ground. See if they can get lined up and start running down the top three. Giglio, or not Giglio, Evers gets by Mullins. A little surprising, Mullins on the fresh tires, but not able to drive up through this pack. Yeah, even with these three being... That pack getting single file, this three is still pulling away. Kind of try to drive away and hope for green flag stops here. We're at 24 laps, 25 now for, since the caution. Kelly Hyatt did have to come down the pit road four laps ago for the 33 car. So Hyatt now shown 24th, one lap down, only other car off the lead lap, Ian Montrose, not too far ahead. About a second. See if Hyatt can take over the lucky dog. They're going to hope it stays green long enough that everyone else has to come to pit road also. Mike Chris not letting Tario get away. See him keep a nose on the air on the nose as he gets a lane higher there. Brandon Bikey. Again, very impressed with Bikey. Mikey did not get fresh tires, and he's hanging with these three, these other two. And you have Giglio, Hoitzma, Ethan Evers, Mike Edwards, and Nick Hammer. Five-car pack. They're still losing significant time to the top three. Snevers, here he comes to pit road. I was about to say, he's probably in danger of having to pit under green very soon. As I say that, the 26 peels off, comes to pit road. See, those are the two cars that stayed out last time, Hyatt and Evers. So Evers went, looked like 39 on the lap count before he had to come down. We're about 11 laps away from maybe the rest of the field having to make green flag pit stops. Tario still leads Christopher, Bikey, Giglio fourth, Lucas Hoisma fifth, Mike Edwards, Nick Hammer. Now up to seventh is the 26 pits. You have Schweissgood running home by himself. More than a second back of Nick Hammer and more than a second up on Cliff Mullins. Mullins and Cleaver run together. Cleaver. <laughs> if he didn't hit the wall there, it was very close. Battle for the lead. And Chris looks to the inside. Ford versus Chevy, Mustang down low, Camaro up high. Well, it's going to get tight. Mike Chris able to keep it off of Dario. That was dangerously close. 70 got very tight coming off a corner. Drifted right up the track. He's going to try to roll the top in one and two. Here comes Montrose off pit road. Montrose now shown three laps down. Been a rough race for him. Cars that have pitted. Ethan Evers, Paul Gallimore, Mark Dingman have all been to pit road. So top 20. Top 19 still in the lead lap. Ethan Evers in 20th right now. Mike Chris now under attack from Brandon Bikey. See the one of Montrose fresh off pit road. He's going to fly by these guys if he can find racetrack to do it. Get to the outside of Bikey. Christopher looks like Bikey coming to pit road. 27 
peels off 32 laps into the run. He's coming to pit road now. A little surprised he came that early, especially as good as he was running up there with the top three. Here he comes. Montreux Sun laps himself to go two laps down. Still 24th, last car still running. There you go, Mike Chris, one and two. Giglio, the new three. Lucas Hoysa, Nick Hammer, Mike Edwards. Two former teammates there side by side. Waits up the track. Edwards sends it in underneath them. Wonder if that's just Edwards setting up to come to pit road. Oh, not this time. Mikey after pitting is 19th now. One lap down. It's got about a 2.6 second lead over Ethan Evers. Only other car that we know is pitted. Out of the top 10 cars. Uh, Dave Hoitzma up into the top 10 with the pit cycle going on. Dave currently in 8th. Cody Cleavers pulled away from Cliff Mullins. Mullins now 2 seconds back from Cody. Scott Elson's 11th, Shea Ardeal 12th, Jeremy Scherer 13th. It's like Quinn Newton's hit pit road in the 88 car. Daniel Lawallen, 23, is on pit road as well. Next, well, next two, three laps, probably going to be pretty spicy on pit road. Most cars are 38 laps into their run now. Trying to get driver chat back. <laughs> it's like Mike Chris is coming as is the 30. Both of them coming to pit road. That'll hand the lead over to Nick Hammer in the 11. Thirty-nine laps since Nick Hammer has been to pit road. Nick Hammer, Dave Hoitzma, Cliff Mullins, Jake Lawrence, Lilith Peters all stay out here. Everybody else on pit road. <laughs> now here comes Nick Hammer, bringing his car to pits. Nice clean pit entry there for Nick. Dave Hoist was coming down as well. Cliff Mullins hitting the pit road. Jake Lawrence going to stay out. 40 laps since Jake Lawrence has been to pit road. He's going to stay out here. Get himself a lap lead. Lawrence sliding it. <laughs> it's going to make it to pit road, though. So Lawrence able to stretch it 40 laps. Bikey's going to streak by. Take over the race lead. Ethan Evers now finds himself in second.
Kelly Hyatt. Under attack from the 30 of Tario. Dario up to third, has much fresher tires than the two cars ahead of him. Currently six and a half back and shrinking. Mike Chris going to get by it. It's the battle for fourth. Mike Chris, 20 lap fresher tires than the 33, going to move on by. Dingman, Paul Gallimore, Mike Edwards all grouped together here. This is 7th, 8th, and 9th. Edwards, the car in the back, has the freshest tires. But the two cars in front of him are side by side, has nowhere to go. Dingman and Gallimore continue to run side by side. That's to be frustrating to that 14 car. He's going to try to send it three wide here. <laughs> That's the frustration coming through. Edwards gets by safely. Well, they lost plenty of time hung up behind those guys. Ethan Evers rides in second. Last lap, a 30.8. There you go. Third, a 30.3. So half second a lap being lost just on tire differential between Evers and there you go. You're getting the hydrates in. You got it. Appreciate it. Mike Chris rides fourth gap between those two. It's been dwindling. They're on equal strategy, the 30 and the 70 of Dario and Christopher. Lucas Weiss who finds himself in fifth. Kelly Hyatt still hanging on to sixth as Edwards closes in on the back bumper. Try to get that away. This stays green the rest of the way. This is going to get interesting on strategy for sure. Bikey. Enjoying a three-second lead now over Evers. Dario and Christopher and Hoitzma all closing in on Evers. So we hit 75. If you're gambling for no green white checkers, you could make it to the end. That'll be interesting to see <laughs> who comes down and when. Mark Dingman gets by Hyatt. That was for the ninth position. Hyatt's up to 30 laps on their strategy. Probably need to go another five before they pit. Pikey riding behind Jake Lawrence. Remember, Lawrence went very long on his stop. He went 40 laps exactly in that 68 car. So the gap first to second is worth watching now. Six lap fresher tires on the second place car. 
about 3.5 seconds back. We'll see if Peter can run down Brandon. Mike Chris gets by the 26 of Evers, takes over the third spot. Evers 24 laps into his run, Mike Chris only 13. 11 lap difference on the tires. You can see Hoitzman in the background trying to catch up to those two. Mike Edwards on the same strategy as the 97, the 70, and the 30. Currently finds himself in the sixth position. Tax Weiss good in seventh, same strategy. Trying to find any battles. Cards are kind of spread out. <laughs> For the moment, anyway. This is Cody Cleaver and Mark Dingman. Blake Giglio had a pit road violation, so Blake Giglio, that 16 car, not on the lead lap. Giglio, last stop was a 54 second stop, so either clipped the cone or sped on the way into the pits picking up a 40-second penalty for the 16 car. Tough break for one of the faster cars in the field tonight. Sat on the pole. All right. We're in that window. Cars had made it 40 laps before. So the window is open. Those that save fuel best, anyway. Cars will be looking to come down soon will be this 33. It's been 36 laps. As Hyatt now falls down to 16th. And right behind is the 39. That would be for position also. Jared Yellow ahead battles Lilith Peters. That's for the 14th spot. So they trade it back and forth. It's gotten by Ethan Evers. There is Evers. There is Edwards. Mike Chris currently third. Dario in second. There is Bikey continuing to lead. There is Gallimore in ninth, Dingman in tenth. Quinn Newton saw him bounce off the wall earlier. He's 11. Dave Hoisman right behind him in 12. And Kelly Hyatt brings it in. First car we were expecting to come to pit road. We'll have to go 35 laps from here. That's easily doable, I think. Should see the pit windows open up. Anybody that's been out on track for a while, probably come take advantage. Brandon Bikey, our leader, one of them. Ethan Evers, another one. Uh, Mark Dingman, this car has been 30 laps. Bikey, 26 only, but still, compared to the cars running them down, Bikey is on older tires. Cars I expect to see come down soon as I click on them. <laughs> Ethan Evers. In 31 laps, here he comes. Drops out from the sixth position. Could also see Gallimore and Dingman. 32 laps since they've been to pit road.
Bikey, there you go, Christopher, Hoitzma, Edward stays out. Let's see if we get Gallimore or Dingman. No Gallimore, no Dingman. A little surprised at that. Quinn Newton, 88 car, hits pit road. Quinn will be the next one down. Fenever's four tires of fuel back out on the track. See where he blends in. Currently 20th. The wall in there would be for position. The Labor 12, blue and white Camaro. Evers should have the fresh tires now. When do we see our leader? 29 laps for Bikey and counting. As he goes by pit road. Gallimore and Dingman. Almost a half lap behind. Gallimore's coming. 17 of Gallimore woes it down. Drops it down. Dingman, I don't know if he was trying to make it or not. He was either trying to come in or just uh, ran out of room. One of the two. Dingman going around another lap. Gallimore able to get down and onto pit road, as did Scott Elston. There's Elston driving through way too many boxes. I'll have to talk to him about that. <laughs> Mike Edwards, Zach Sykes, good. 14 and 24 both come down. Lap 85. Couple of top 10 cars all night long coming down pit road. Here comes leader Brandon Bikey. Knew it wouldn't be too long. Brandon Bikey splitting the run in half. 31 laps down, 30 to go. Brings his leading machine to pit road. Lario stays out. Looks like Cleaver's going to stay out. Hoisman's on pit road. Mike Chris on pit road. This wonderful camera shot of back of the pit boxes is great. <laughs> Gotta love it. So Dario stays out. Looks like he's coming this time by. So the leader coming down, forcing the hand of the 30 team. What does Cody Cleaver do? He's going to stay out. Cleaver will get the lap led there. Cliff Mullins still on track. Dave Hoitzman's on pit road. Justin Horton. And Lilith Peters went by there. Yeah, there's a 0 1 coming in. And 30 of oh, Dario heads back out. Let's see where they all shake out. Sinever is one of the first ones to pit road. See where he cycles around. He's had six laps on these fresh tires. We're just behind Mike Chris. Mike Chris will have fresher tires. There's the 97 of Hoitzma. So Hoitzma's made up some good ground through the pit cycle. Ahead of Mike Chris now. Mikey continues to lead. No one's challenged Mikey just yet. Closest car to Mikey that is pit is this 30. Giglio has not been to pit road for his second time yet. I think he's going to try to run it dry. So now the gap from Bikey to Dario is 5.4 seconds. That is very healthy for Bikey. Cody Cleaver brings the deuce to pit road. Cliff Mullins takes over the race lead in the race22.com Camaro. Mullins, of course, won Daytona season opener, so he's already locked into the playoffs. Overachieving this season. Six to go. 
Mullins and Giglio in the top five still have to pit, as does Daniel Lawallen down in 11th. Those cars all hoping for a caution so they can pit under yellow. Cleaver goes a lap down. Mullins has 14 seconds over Bikey, who has made his final stop, should the race stay green. Here is the battle for the third spot, which when Mullins pit would be for second. Placements all over the back of the 30 of Peter Terrio. It's been now looking to the top side. So we can get to the outside quarter panel of the 30. I'm going to try to side draft him down the back stretch. Very close racing between Hoisman and Dario as they go through turns three and four here at Vegas. Oh, the 30 gets a little upset going over the bumps. He's drifting up the track. Able to keep it off of Hoitzman, but lost a little bit of speed. Hoitzman going to reset here, try to cross over. It's going to be available for him. So 30 goes up the track, off the corner exit. Hoitzman gets back to the inside. If there you go, tries to side draft and pull back Hoitzman now. So they're both catching the 68 of Jake Lawrence. And Daniel Wallen coming off pit road. Oh my gosh, that's so close. Fantastic racing for second here. <laughs> Effectively second, currently third. Mullins still has... Five more laps, so I hope a caution comes out. Oh, Hoyts was up and into the wall. Kept up the speed. Doesn't seem to be hurting the car too bad. Let's see if we got any other good battles going on. Cody Cleaver, Quinn Newton, kind of close. There's Gallimore and Peters. Blake Giglio giving up the dream of a caution. He's coming down pit road here with 19 to go. He'll tumble down the running order. And here's Cliff Mullins. Couldn't get his caution. Race leader Mullins gives it up. Brings it to pit road with 18 to go. Hands it back over to Bikey. Bikey now hoping for no cautions in the next 18 laps. <laughs> Cliff Mullins, the fuel only stop. That's just not going to be the, the call. He would have made up those 10 seconds, or the 8 seconds that you would take tires. He would have made those up just by having fresh tires for 17 laps. Silly Cliff.
Like he has the nine of JR deal right behind him. JR, first car one lap down. Is he from the K family? It's Johnny Outlaw in the nine, the white and blue machine there. That's what I'm saying, Dan. I mean, it's really only eight seconds that it cost you, because he was there for six seconds, to, to four tires is 14, so... Yeah. Ethan Evers going off in the grass. 26, then up into the outside wall, back across the track in front of Swicegood. What happened to the 26 car? It's like he got loose coming off the high side of four, goes for a ride through the grass. Tries to save the car, bounces it off the fence, twice good goes by. That's going to be a killer for the 26. Falling down to seventh. Pikey has five cars behind him. None of them are for position. <laughs> it's nearly six seconds back to the 30 and 97, battling for second. Mikey stinking up the show tonight. The man is tired of finishing third last season. He did eventually get a win, but so many thirds last season. Uh, Cliff Mullins came down pit road and retired the car. I guess he decided those <laughs> old tires were not the way to go. Mullins will finish 23rd tonight. Nick Hammer finished 24th. CJ Orndorff also out of the race 25th. Only other close battle on track is this one. Quinn Newton and Paul Gallimore. Last spot in the top 10. And we do have the 39 and 15 battling. With the one car in between them. <laughs> Watch. Why'd you not take tires there, Cliff? Trying to earn your own award over there on the Spit and Venom podcast? <laughs> Didn't have him checked. Yoink. Bikey, all alone with 10 to go. There he goes, put a little bit of distance over Hoitzma. Things have cooled down on that battle. The 9 and the 39. This is for the 14th spot. Johnny Outlaw has it. Justin Horton wants it. So Cody Cleaver's reeling in the 26 for the seventh spot. Here's Cleaver catching up the Evers. Steve Hoisman gets by Paul Gallimore. Cody Cleaver gets by Ethan Evers. And Justin Horton gets by J.R. Deal all at the same time. <laughs> Three passes at the same time. Here's Hoisman still fighting Gallimore. Right behind Quinn Newton. All three of those cars are for position, so if they can catch up to Quinn Newton, it'd be a battle for the top ten. This one's Labor 12 Mustang. <laughs> You're calling it early, huh, Dan? We'll have to see if we get yellers. Dave Hoitzma and Gallimore are putting on a show. It might be for 11th, but dang it, it's entertaining. Just side by side, lap after lap. Blake Giglio just set the new fastest lap of the race on lap 103. 11 laps on his tires, that's impressive.
still side by side for this battle. Good gracious. Check out Bikey. Less than five seconds ahead now. But only just. Don't think he's in any threat. Mario rides second. White's not alone in third. Christopher by himself in fourth. Edward's by himself in fifth. There's Swice good. Currently six, not too far behind Edwards. Cody Cleaver, Ethan Evers, Lilith Peters, and Quinn Newton has company for the back part of the top ten. Mark Dingman has joined the fight, so we have a four-car battle for the tenth spot, essentially. Tenth, eleventh, twelfth, and thirteenth all on the screen. I wonder why everybody else is by themselves. They're hogging up all the fun. Can we see Dave Hoitzman get by Quinn Newton here? So Gallimore fades a little bit. He's going to be under attack from Martin Dingman. Dingman going to take the 12th spot. Daddy Dave popping to the outside of Newton. Trying to get to his quarter panel. Now we're 2x2 two two for both of these <laughs> battles. Dave Hoisman works to the inside of Quinn Newton. Newton's got the advantage with three to go. Swice gets closing in on Edwards for the last spot in the top five. Dingman down on the apron. That's going to drop him out of the fight. Dave Hoisman up into the top ten. Quinn Newton rides 11th. Under pressure from Gallimore. Two laps remaining from Las Vegas. Now the white flag in the air. Bikey down into one and two for the final time with a four second lead over second place. Been a dominating display from the 27 team and Brandon Bikey. Down the Nella straight into three and four. Brings the 27 Camaro off of four. And the 27 of Bikey going to be your victor here in Vegas. Very nice effort from the 27 team. There is Terry O bringing it home in second. Lucas Hoisma picks up the third. Mike Chris fourth. Mike Edwards finished the top five. Swice good six. Cleaver seventh. Ethan Evers is going to hang on with that damaged car for 8th. Lilith Peters in ninth. And Dave Hoitzma, we were watching that battle. Hoitzma gets the last spot in the top 10. Quinn Newton will be 11th. Gallimore 12th. Dingman 13th. And those are all the cars on the lead lap. Justin Horton, first car one lap down 14th. J.R. Deal 15th. Jeremy Scherer 16th. Jake Lawrence 17th. Kelly Hyatt 18th. Scott Elson 19th. Blake Giglio in 20th. Ian Montrose 21st. Daniel Lawallen 22nd. We'll watch Bikey do his celebrations. If we can get top three to the waiting room of the broadcast section, please, and thank you. <laughs> no idea where Bikey's going. <laughs> this is different. <laughs> this is a sidewinder first. I've never seen the winner drive in reverse and have their teammates drafting them. It's certainly unique. There is a father son duo, it was Lucas and Dave Hoitzman. This is this is special. I like it. Are they gonna do a whole lap? <laughs> it looks way cooler in Chopper Cam. 
That was a nice race, Jake. Nice race. Poor motor in that car is screaming. Are they imitating bobsledding a little bit? <laughs> By being in line, at least. Cool runnings team. Feel the rhythm, feel the rhyme, get on up, it's bobsled time. If he's too cooked to do celebrations after this, <laughs> we're going to have to have words about how we celebrate. <laughs> Burnouts are good for TV. Perfect. Whole lap. I can't believe we just watched that whole thing. <laughs> he just drives to the pit road. This guy. Well, we watched you do your entire victory lap and then not do any donuts. What's going on? Uh, I'm not a big donut guy. I like to do the reverse lap. Uh, the regular direction and reverse. Hmm. I did all this work to set up a burnout cam and everything, and then you don't even do one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> well, you got the victory tonight in kind of boring fashion. You're so far out in front, you didn't really have to work hard for it. How does it feel to kind of be on cruise control tonight? Uh, I felt great. It was, uh, it was awesome. The car was good. The new tire model I liked. I don't know if it just fits my driving style or if everyone was running a little too hard at first or what it was, but... Um, I just felt comfortable and was just trying to run smooth laps the entire time and see what, see how it shook out. A lot Chat, of unknowns. Chad has decided that because you didn't do a burnout, your win has been vacated. Oh, yikes. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to... Uh, <laughs> Good thing Chad doesn't make the up. rules, right? <laughs> yeah, thank God. <laughs> well, congrats on the victory tonight, and you really put it on. What, what, what is it about Vegas that kind of just brought you alive tonight? Um, I don't know. I didn't do well in official races all week. Um, just didn't do well at all. So I, I'm thinking maybe it was a combination of tire model and doing some fixed stuff. Uh, I usually run opens with uh, Team Watson Racing set up. So um, I, I don't know. Just came together. It was actually, I was telling my teammates, uh, the first track I ever got a league win on in NASCAR 4 was at Las Vegas. And um, it's the only track I've gotten wins on here in SRL so far. But Hopefully we'll get a few more this season. I'm I'm shooting for that. That's my goal. That's funny. It's the only track I have multiple wins on in the league, so it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I actually loved it when it was flat. Um, that's obviously the, the layout it was back in NASCAR four days back in I think it was ninety nine or two thousand somewhere somewhere around there. Yeah, so yeah, what NASCAR four would have been two thousand one, because uh, then you had NASCAR racing two thousand two and two thousand three. So yeah, it would have been two thousand one. Perfect. <laughs> you're well, the man with the history so i default to you yeah i mean we've been both in racing that long i just happen to remember the titles <laughs> uh but good job on the the victory tonight you got it, those friends family and sponsor shout outs for us yeah definitely uh you know i want to i want to thank team watson racing setups they um sponsor me you know um in general as far as open racing road to pro all that stuff so I really appreciate everything they've done for me. I've gone from, you know, a 2300 uh, I rating um, in the fall of last year to, you know, up in the mid 5000s now. And that's all due to Team Watson Racing, Kenny Coppola um, and all the guys over there. We help each other get better. And it's just it's so much fun. The open setups uh, racing is a lot like league racing. They're longer races. It's much cleaner. So I, I love it. Um, anybody that wants to come over and wants information, please come to me, Paul, um, our other teammate, Dave Miller. So, um, we, it's, it's just so fun. So I want to thank them. Uh, obviously my teammates, cool running his motorsports, Mark Dingman, Paul Gallimore, Dave Miller. He couldn't make it tonight, but, uh, you know, we were all pretty fast. Unfortunately, my guys, um, my other guys got in some just an issue with almost a wreck early and they got him behind the eight ball. So I think we would have had a good showing last week. We would have had a great showing had um, somebody not intentionally brought out a caution uh, late in the race or allegedly. Um, so 
we, we are, we're pretty strong this year and it's going to be a fun year. Uh, so, and then my dad and my wife, Lindsay, always want to thank them. They support me, watch me race. And, uh, and then you guys, you put on the great show. Um, you put on a great league, in fact, and it's just so fun to race over here at SRL. So I appreciate it so much. Um, and then I really want to thank Jake Lawrence. He really helped me in that middle stage of the race. He got in front of me and I just got a draft on him for a while. And that really secured my win and my my um, increment out to the lead there. So I really want to thank Jake Lawrence for that, too. <laughs> Perfect. All right. I think you got everybody. We'll go ahead and uh, let you get on out of here and celebrate your win. Have a good night, sir. Thank you all. Have a great one. Brandon Bikey, bring it home to win in the 27 machine. Now let's go find our second place driver. All right, Peter, is it Dario, Tario? What is it? It's Terio. Terio. See, someone says like Tario in chat. I'm like, what the heck? It looks like Terio. Yeah, yeah, Terio. It's all right. Everybody gets it wrong on the. Well, see, I took seven years of French, so this is right up my alley. Yeah. I... That's why I was saying Terio, and then they're like, oh, it's Tario. And I'm like, no, uh, okay. Well, maybe you know him. So I went with that for a little bit, but mm -mm, mm -mm, I was right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, people get people get my first name wrong too. So, how is that hard? Because it's missing an e. Do they just call you Petter? Yeah, that's wow. what Ian Montrose did this race. Wow. <laughs> well, I apologize for um, the other humans and their lack of I don't know brain power. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> congrats on the very strong run tonight. Looked like for a moment you were going to be up there to challenge all night long. Then unfortunately, the twenty-seven just got a little too far out there, and you couldn't run him back down. But still, a very solid effort for the team. Let, let me let me hear about your night. Yeah, Bikey was really really good tonight. But uh, man, this car was on rails, and I did not expect to come in here with the speed we had. But because uh, I, I did a league race here in another league before a couple weeks ago, and I was nowhere near as good as I was uh, tonight. But um, I kind of went off cycle on accident. I took tires on, I think a stop around like lap 20 and I didn't mean to. And that's when I got up to the front and had that little bit of contact with Lucas, which was a total accident. And uh, then, yeah, I got the lead and basically that whole run had the lead up until the, the, green, the first green flag pit stop and then executed that pretty well. Didn't quite get back to bikey because I burned my stuff up a bit too much. Um, and then that last pit stop executed it fine. Uh, had a really, really good battle with Hoitzma that I, I assume you got on the, the broadcast because, man, I, that's probably some of the best racing I've had in the next gen was with him there banging doors, but a lot of respect between the two of us. But, uh, yeah, all in all, the uh, the team, the bean team, number 30, Fanatec Machine, was on rails tonight. Um, you know, Bikey, I heard, I heard in his interview talking about first league racing wins, and, you know, I haven't, my first league win wasn't at Vegas, but it was with the 30 car. And since then, I have never run the 30 as a number. I always won the 28 normally, but I chose the 30 for this because 28 was taken. So I was really hoping tonight was going to be the night I was going to bring the 30 back to victory lane. But, um, you know, not quite. But I can't be too upset about a second place. Yeah, very strong effort. And uh, the 28 kind of cursed in SRL. I would stay far, far away from it. I think I can break the curse. Mm, a lot of people say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but congrats on that strong second place run. Let's hear your friends, family, and sponsor shout outs. Yeah, so first I got to thank my teammates, Will Peters and Justin Horton. Um, they had some rough nights, but they're both really good. They both had a lot of speed, and I just got caught up in some stuff. And um, obviously got to thank Fanatec. Got the I'm running Fanatec wheel and pedals. I'm not officially sponsored by them, but, I mean, they power my setup. So I feel like I am. I, I should shout them out. Um, I got to thank uh, Esports National Auto Racing. It's a small uh, I racing community that I I own with uh, with a friend, and um, that one I gotta thank the people in there. Um, yeah, I I think uh, I think that's about it. I am technically uh, my own team owner, so I I guess thank myself, and uh, I gotta thank you for broadcasting. I was listening to the broadcast, and it very good. I I enjoy watching them back every week as well. Perfect. And uh, gotta thank uh, the league admins as well. Yep, they definitely put in a lot of work, so I always thank them. I appreciate your help being out here running with us. I uh, hope you bring more friends over and we can have a good time. Uh, appreciate everything that you've put into this sports and uh, league so far. And uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for being a part of it. Yeah, thank you for uh, for having me. And that is the 30 of Peter Terrio. Gets the second place finish tonight. And now we'll bring in the 97 of Lucas Hoisman, bringing home third tonight. Lucas, DG, you got the copy? Oh, I got you. 
See, tonight you didn't win, and I still went backwards. Are you hating it now because you had to wait longer? Uh, well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do the other order usually, so that the uh, the winner gets the most time at the end, and the third and second place don't have to sit around and s smart from the uh, the the not winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe I'll rethink the strategy. <laughs> Well, so you had a hell of a battle there for a second for several laps. There's at least 20 laps that you two are going at, and it was very entertaining, especially since Bikey was taking up the show. So thanks for giving us something to watch, and uh, how was that battle? <laughs> well, it was uh, it was fun because, you know, we could actually push it hard for a really long time there. We didn't have to worry about saving tires that much. Um, but it's interesting because the way Bikey's able to get that lead, he got that short pit, which he says was on accident, which is crazy to me. And... Uh, Gets that five second lead, and all he's got to do is sit up there, keep his tires cool, and get that win. And man, it felt good to get a green flag run and not have to save tires hard. And it's it was just a breath of fresh air. And yeah, like you said, me and uh, me and um, Peter had a really good battle there. And uh, the tire saving did matter just a little bit. I pushed it really hard trying to get around him, and uh, it just was able to let him get away from me just a little bit. But you know, it's it was an awesome race, and uh, shout out to Brandon. Yeah, he, he drove a really good race. He was up there all night, and uh, yeah, the strategy worked out for him real good, and he drove a real good race. Yeah, he said the hit the uh, 68 car actually was uh, just ahead of him one time, and he just drafted behind him and took advantage of that to keep that lead. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, that, the draft was pretty strong, but I still think it was a little reduced than it was, so that's also good. Yeah, at least we didn't get a big Daytona tonight. I'm happy about that. Yeah. A lot of spread out racing. Kind of looks like an ARCA race almost. It was nice. It was nice. I enjoyed it. And I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. Go ahead and hit me with the Friends, Family, and Sponsor shout-outs tonight. I uh, just want to shout-out uh, Labor 12, um, CTC Racing, Low Drag Esports, M9 Performance. Um, and as always, everybody who's involved in this. And uh, that's about it. Okay, I have a random question for you now. Okay. You're a broadcaster now. What's it like to have the broadcaster life? Uh weird being on the other side of the interview <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit weird and you have those itches to want to be out on track i know you did last time in the modified you're saying man these things look like they're ripping around here yeah yeah it was it was tough for me to watch those guys run nashville last night and i just wanted to be out there with them but it was fun watching too good time it's, just, it's, a, it's a pro and a con that's kind of how i see it too <laughs> all right yeah, but congrats sure. on the third place finish and uh we'll see you in the next event you running trucks all right see you, man. oh oh yeah Hell yeah, we'll see you in trucks tomorrow. Have a good night. All right, see you, man. Lucas Hoisman, the 97, bringing it home third. Let's go ahead and look at our final results for the race tonight. We've got Brandon Bikey with the win in the 27 machine. Team Watson Racing Setup Chevy. Then we got Peter Therio, Lucas Hoisman, Mike Christopher, Mike Edwards, Zach Swicegood, Cody Cleaver, Ethan Evers, Lilith Peters, and Dave Hoyts for your top 10. Quinn Newton, Paul Gallimore, Mark Dingman, Justin Horton, J.R. Deal, Jeremy Sher, Jake Lawrence, Kelly Hyatt, Scott Elston, Blake Giglio rounding out the top 20. Final five, Ian Montrose, Daniel Wallen, Cliff Mullins, Nick Hammer, and C.J. Orndorff. Your 25 finishers from tonight's event. Hope you guys enjoyed tonight's broadcast. We have to say thank you to Fort Worth Screen and uh, Fort Worth Screen Printing and Fort Worth Screen Esports for helping us put on tonight's broadcast. As, as always, they help us uh, put the show on for you guys. So fwscreen.com, head on over there, check them out. And buy some racing merchandise from ARCA driver John T. Garrett. You can uh, get over there and try to get your print screen printing needs taken care of. If you want to mass produce some shirts and get your logo out there for whatever you need it for, check them out, fwscreen.com. Thank you guys so much for being here tonight. We'll be back tomorrow for the Truck Series. Hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday night and have a great one.